Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Jan and, in this video, you will learn how to control a LED with your smartphone using an Arduino and a Bluetooth module. In the video description, you will find a link to download the programs. Let's get started. The first step is to set up the hardware. In this tutorial I will show you step by step how to connect the Bluetooth module and the LED to the Arduino. In this tutorial you will need a breadboard, a Bluetooth module, a LED, a 220 ohm resistor, an Arduino, and some wires. First you plug the Arduino and the Bluetooth module to the breadboard. After that you connect VCC of the Bluetooth module to 5B of the Arduino. Next step is to connect GND of the Bluetooth module to GND of the Arduino. After that you connect TXD of the Bluetooth module to pin 2 of the Arduino. From there on you connect RXD of the Bluetooth module to pin 3 of the Arduino. Now you plug the 220 ohm resistor to the breadboard and connect pin 6 of the Arduino to the resistor. After that you plug the LED to the breadboard. The anode, i.e. the positive pole of the LED, must be connected to the resistor. Last but not least you connect the cathode i.e. the negative pole of the LED, to GND of the Arduino. The second step is to program an app for your smartphone. In this video we will use the MIT App Inventor 2 to program the app. You will learn different ways to control the LED with your smartphone. First we have to create a new App Inventor project. After that you create your app design with everything you want. I will create different buttons, a switch, and a slider to show you how to use them. The list picker and the Bluetooth client are the most important components. It won't work without them. you have created your own app design, you come over to program what all your buttons and so on have to do. After clicking on blocks you have to tell the Bluetooth list that it has to give out the Bluetooth addresses and names. Next step is to connect the smartphone to the Bluetooth module you have picked. Now you always have to send a text from your smartphone to the Bluetooth module when something happens. You also have to send a letter to the Bluetooth module to identify what the Arduino should do with the value you sent to it.
third step is to write the code for the Arduino so that he knows what to do if he receives different numbers and words. First you have to include the software serial.h library and define the Rx and Tx pins. Next you define some variables you need later on. Now you start the serial monitor and the Bluetooth module, i.e. my serial, at 9600. In the setup you also define that LED is an output. In the loop you have to wait till the Bluetooth module receives something. With parseInt, you return the first valid long integer from the serial buffer and save it as incoming value. After that you read the buffer of the Bluetooth module again and save it as incoming text. Because of the letter the smartphone sent you can tell the Arduino what to do with the incoming value when you sent an A for example. Fourth step is to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for free. Please comment down below if you have any questions or ideas.